So tonight we'll look at the layer K and examine some lessons we can take. And since this is the best of time, I'm going to talk to Ryan. And I'm afraid I found my muse. Not in Shakespeare or Goethe, but Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the K that was made by Tim. And you can see why we think so well of him, because the diagram is our most used lever, uh, our most used ever. Because it's pretty clear and clever. In fact, it's amazing what you can make when you start with this layer K. <laughs> <laughs> but I show you this, it's not a fake. There was an earlier layer K. I used this thing, and it may sound funny, to get DARPA to give us the down one. <laughs> so you see, it's really right that I give the talk, but he's the knight. <laughs> But somewhere around 2006, his layer cake was given a fix. To avoid outrageous barbs and stings, Tim was forced to add more things. <laughs> and while this cake has a few more stacks, I'll point out there's still stuff that lacks. <laughs> because embedding, as we know well, means things must work with HTML, so with the cake, we have to fiddle, because it left out our DFA and griddle. <laughs> so we have those to our cake and see what other change we make. Adding these, let's move and see what's new in ontology. Well, now there's owl too. And frankly, it kills me to my owls, but as of yesterday, <laughs> we now have got five owls. <laughs> And also, tune up your tools. Because look at what riffs done to rules. <laughs> Whether purda, flit, or swick, anything can do the trick. As long as you build off the riff core, and did it, led, and many more. <laughs> so throw that in, and sooner or later, you realize we left out linked data. And I would add, if you allow, things we need in the linked data cloud. And you see we should be humble if we add koi. <clears throat> and I would add, if you allow, <laughs> things we need in the linked data cloud. You see that we should be humble as we add in void, masculine, and umbo. And then, before it gets too late, Sparkle needs its own update. <laughs> And I know some folks are getting nervous because I haven't said web service. <laughs> <laughs> We've got social, Wizmo as well. Uh, Wizmo as well. In fact, Wizmo X and L. I will ask you also see. I'll throw in so people don't throw things at me. <laughs> oh, and another thing I take last is a slew of new RDF syntax. So many ways RDF we write, describing them would take all money. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a break and just throw those into the cake. So this layer cake, okay, you must confess, really is a bloody mess. <laughs> and to many folks, it's causing stress. Because people love to tell us that the web has a simple stack. <laughs> but we shouldn't forget that that was 20 years back. This is the web at 10. <laughs> what a mess it reached by then. And if you think that's a hack, here's the web service stack. <laughs> and I really don't want to be a bore, but I gotta tell you, there's many more. <laughs> So, the stats from 10 years ago shows how far we've had to go. And I think I am with maturity. The growing stack shows a maturity 
And thus, I think we should proclaim the new stacks are pride, it's not a shame. A language stack. A language stack must grow with use. That's clear to me. Talk to <laughs> So I look forward to the next 10 years as we explore the upper peers. <laughs> and thanks for lending me your ears. And I'll see you again in 10 more years.